Hey guys, what's up? It's AppoSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys iOS 4.2 GM. This is basically the final version. Uh, most likely there will be very uh, few changes, if at any, for this for the final version of 4.2. And I have it running on my iPad, so basically what I'm going to do is give you a, qu a quick feature overview. You guys might have seen this from the earlier betas. But I'm going to give you a quick overview and download links for this will be in the description. You don't need to be a developer to install this, so definitely go ahead and install it if you'd like. If you if you have it unlocked, don't install though. So let's go ahead and uh, just show, I'll show you a couple of features, the main features of iOS 4.2. So the first feature we have here is multitasking. Obviously by double clicking the home button just on the iPhone, you get your multitasking bar right here and you have your apps. So we can launch settings and we can quickly switch to the App Store with that smooth transition between them. And with that means that I can uh, play Pandora in the background and I have my music controls right here. So you have a volume slider right here, which is actually new in the GM, believe it or not, and a brightness slider over here too, so it's kind of like balanced out now. So definitely a cool new feature in iOS 4.2 GM. So you have the brightness slider and the volume slider. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that music. So there is multitasking. Another new feature is folders. Um, obviously I can make a folder here and let's just go ahead and put two apps in there. And as you can see, I now have a folder with productivity apps, keynotes, and uh, keynote and pages. Basically the same thing on the iPhone. You can have 20 icons uh, per folder as compared to 12 on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and take a look at another feature here. And that let's just go ahead and jump in the settings. Just a couple few changes. As you can see, you can turn airplane mode off and on if you have an iPad uh, with Wi-Fi only. 3G users have had this for a while. Um, there are a couple, a couple new tweaks in general, nothing too important. Um, in notes, you can now change the font from uh, checkerboard to Helvetica to Markerfelt. So I can go ahead and change that to Helvetica. And you guys can go ahead and play around with this font if you'd like. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Safari here. And we're going to go ahead and let's just load Zag here. By the way, Zag makes excellent iPhone uh, screen protectors and stuff like that. As you can see right here, let me go ahead and bring the camera closer up. It uh, goes ahead and shows you how many tabs you have open compared to on iOS uh, 3.3, 1.3, whatever. It basically just didn't show you how many tabs you have open. So that is definitely a pretty cool feature. Nothing major there. Another major feature of iOS 4.2 is Game Center. Obviously, Game Center is on the iPhone. Let me go ahead and focus this camera. Obviously, it's on the iPhone, and now it has come to the iPad. So you can go ahead and sign into your Game Center and view Game Center games just like you would on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more feature here, and that is, let's just go ahead and do... Uh, the rotation lock. Um, this is actually important to iOS 4.2. It's probably the last thing I'll touch on on this video, and that is the rotation lock is now a button. Um, this button right here is now the silent switch. So if I flick it um, right there, as you can see, it's a silent switch. Now, most users, I think, will not like this option. It's more of a preference option to me, but I don't see why you need a silent switch on the iPad when you can just turn the volume down and no one's going to be calling your iPad as it is. So, I mean, other than that, it's just, I don't know. You guys will have to figure out a way to deal with it, but Steve Jobs said that he will not uh, be changing it. Other than that, iOS 4.2, there are tons of other features. I don't have time to show you every new feature. Those are just the ones I thought are important. So if you'd like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there, and don't forget... Um, don't jail or don't update if you rely on a jailbreak or unlock. It's not jailbreakable. It's not unlockable. Um, none of that stuff right now. And download links are in the description. So uh, thanks for watching.